What up, YouTube fans? This is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play. Hey, the Sky of Four. There it is! Another suspicious device! Hmm, that was pretty easy. It's all thanks to my dream, I guess. <laughs> this must be the result of all of my daily good deeds. Say what you will, Thief Angel. Well, finding this might not really be a good thing. It could be the retribution for our evil doings. Don't try to scare us! We don't have much choice anyway! Let's just get rid of this thing! <laughs> Look at him talk. And to think he used to be a wimpy rascal. Demon group with a warrant out for their arrest. Resistance is futile. If you surrender now, we will spare your life. <laughs> Why would we believe you when you're trying to kill all life on a planet? The word life has no meaning coming from your mouth. You would never understand that there are some things which are more important than even if I took the time to explain it. This mood, which you're trampling all over with your filthy ego, is precisely one of those things to me! you a lesson.
goes the second one as well. This is the crossroad of our lives. If the black hole is created... Then that's that. We'll just destroy the black hole. A black hole will not be created. Desko believes this. Yeah, so many things happened, but there won't be anything short of a happy ending to my dream. The humans will live! Lady Archangel, please give us your blessings. Looks like it stopped. Yes! It's a success! No black hole. Phew! Nothing happened! I'm so glad! Our prayers have reached the heavens! It wasn't your prayer. It was all our Lord's power. It wasn't mine. It was all of ours. Either way, I'm happy for you, Fen Fen. Your precious moon has been saved at last. By the way, you said something about the moon being the symbol of your loyalty? What was that all about? <laughs> Did you think I'd tell you the story if you asked me in the midst of our excitement? Ugh, you're so stubborn. Fine, I'll just go ask Bowser. Yeah, hey, you damn lass, stop that! Hey, Bowser! About the moon and Fenric? Oh, you want to know the story about when the two of us met? Fenric had been struck with a critical injury for werewolves. Oh, uh-huh. Sounds interesting. My lord, this story involves revealing the werewolf's weakness. That's not something you should share with angels. Okay, so it's fine if demons know it? The final boss wants to know too, please? No way! What? What's going on? It's an earthquake. Wait, what? An earthquake on the moon? Does that make it a moonquake? Could this be the effect of the ignition device? Yep, you are correct. The reactor core is now going out of control because the devices are all gone. So, so, so then there is going to be a black hole? Probably. If things continue to go well, then a black hole should definitely be created. Go well? This sucks! Really? It's a good thing for me. I guess we see things from different perspectives, huh? So what you gonna do, Valvatores? You can't save Earth now. Didn't you make a promise? Or what did you call it? A manifesto? <laughs> you might want to take it back before it's too late. I have no intention of taking my words back. I will always keep the promises I make. Ooh, you're so cool. But how are you gonna do that? The reactor core's gone kaput, you know? Then I'll just destroy the reactor core. So simple, yet so brave. You might actually be able to, Tyrant Valvatores. This guy is very annoying. So Following through with my campaign promises is my motto. I will stop the reactor core. Also, let me take this opportunity to declare one more thing. Judge Nemo, I will take you to Hades with my own hands. I will re-educate you. Beat some sense into that twisted mind of yours. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. My lord, that attitude of his, he must be hiding something. I don't have the time to worry about every single scheme he comes up with. We'll just have to crush them as they come. Don't worry, Fenric. Your master will definitely keep his promise to save the moon. Yes, I always have faith in my master, Lord Valvatores.
conceited bastard. This one will be worth it. I'll teach you a lesson. So hot! Oh, this must be the reactor core. Now, how should we go about this? Please don't do anything! You haven't filed the necessary forms with the Office of Shenanigans to be so reckless! You're the ones who are being reckless here! We have to stop this thing! We're working on that right now. We're making sure the reactor core holds up until the black hole is created. <laughs> Wait, are you guys trying to create the black hole? Yes, it's our duty to dis... What about recycling the planet? A black hole will destroy Earth. Who knows? We're just following the orders that were given to us. The Supreme Conference would rather destroy the humans at any cost than try to preserve Earth. Well, I can't stand to see our worlds get destroyed by their stupid faces. Let's go, everyone! We'll keep destroying stuff until the reactor core is silenced!
yourself. Here's your punishment. Conceited bastard! core has been destroyed have we stopped the black hole too um, I'm not sure we're no rocket scientists I wish we had a bookworm type character on our team for times like this I'm good with battle schemes and conspiracies but when it comes to science please God or Lady Archangel Please, save the world! Good job, guys. Nemo! Looks like the supergravitational field that was created by the reactor core is gone now. Then, we did it! I have no idea what that meant, but we did it, right? Yes! The creation of the black hole has successfully been stopped! Now what, Nemo? We saved the world! No, oh, no, little boy. It's too soon for that. <laughs> I knew it. What do you have up your sleeve now? You've got something else? What's next? Well, well, it seems the moon is going to fall to Earth. Nonsense! That's impossible! It is, isn't it? But you're wrong. When you combine alien technology with demonic powers, anything is possible. The moon is already on a collision course with Earth. There are no devices involved this time. The only way to stop the moon now is to use all your strength to push it away. The moon will fall? Crash! Bang! Boom! It's the end of Earth. What the... Who are you? Jesco, we have to push! Yes, big sis! Here we go! Uh. 
Are you really that stupid? How would doing that push the moon away? What are we supposed to... It's simple. Give up already. Just sit back and watch the moon fall onto the face of the Earth. Never! I made a promise to save the moon and Earth! Then what are you gonna do? Go ahead, give it a try. Stop the moon from falling. Look at you. Sad, pathetic demons. You can't even fulfill your own duties. You're useless. My lord! Give up and enjoy the taste of despair. I hope the moon, earth, netherworld, and everything else disappear. What can I do? Isn't there anything I can do other than watch the moon fall? I haven't completed what I must for my lord yet. I placed all of my vows on the moon, but now I can only watch it fall! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fenric. Is praying the only thing left for us to do? Praying? What will praying do? What will it change? What kind of help will that be? Shaking. This glow. <laughs> this is the power of love embracing the moon. More precisely, it's the love field effect. Well, I just came up with the name right now, but. Huh? Who is she? <sighs> Lady Archangel? Archangel? This lass? Yes! She is Lady Flan, the Archangel, the person whom I respect the most. What? What the hell is going on? What's this light doing here? Valvatoris! Are you doing this? <laughs> Don't be totally surprised yet! Huh? What is that thing? Archangel, all right? Y yes, I I'm sure she is. I think. I thought Celestia was going broke because of the increase in evil doings by all the humans. Y yes, that's right. I'm afraid to ask, but. Excuse me, Lady Flan. Did you put all the money I collected into paying for that thing? Angel Flan, you're... What about all my hard work? Great Flanzer X was only able to be completed thanks to your devotion and money-grabbing spirit. Thank you! You did a great job, Artina. Art... T? Hmm? Uh? Uh. Artina? Lady Flan! 
you not to reveal my name during my mission. Huh? You did? Yes! Especially at a time like this. You've made everything much more complicated now. Miss Artina? Mr. Fauci's first love? Miss Artina? She's not my first love. See? Told you so. But seriously, just like that? That wasn't nearly as dramatic as I was hoping it would be. This is bad. Oh, and I kept it a secret for so long. So then this money-hungry thief angel was really Artina? Women are so freaking scary. I was doing everything for my mission. It's not because I wanted to. Ah, oh, damn it, Lady Archangel! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What is it? What's wrong with you? Did you say Artina? Don't you dare say her name, you filthy maggots. Are you saying that Nurse Artina is here? That can't be possible. I wasn't wrong. Oh, I get it now. You demons are just trying to confuse me, aren't you? Well, it sucks to be you. I'm not gonna fall for it. Huh? What was that all about? Um, did I do something bad? Speaking of which, hey, you, Archangel Flaw. You said you could easily move a moon or two, right? I don't care if it's the power of love or whatever, just do it now! Um, well, Great Flaw's Rex is working on it right now, but it doesn't seem like it's getting enough power. What did you just say? You made such a big deal about how powerful it was, and now you're using lack of power as an excuse? It should be super easy if it was able to use its full power, but there just doesn't seem to be enough awe energy around here. Awe energy? You mean the power source for angels? That robot uses the same energy too? That's correct! If we were able to collect awe energy from around the world, this would be very easy. But it seems like the people of Earth have lost all of their faith in Celestia. Damn it, humans! Must be aware of this situation by now, yet their hearts remain rotten. So this is how much the humans have been corrupted. What? Why are you looking at me? We have no choice. We must pray to... Pray? To God and the angels? Are you joking? We're demons for crying out loud! This is no joke! I'll do anything to keep my promise. Uh, what? As an aspiring final boss, Desco isn't sure about praying to God and the angels either. My lord, you're absolutely right about this. We must stop the moon from falling no matter what. However, I can't possibly watch you pray, my lord. Then what would you suggest? The main alien force should be at the far end of this area. If we can use their technology, we might be able to... It sounds a bit risky. You're the one who wants this the most out of all of us. If you insist on that. Lady Archangel, what am I to do? I will wait for you here with Great Flanzorex. I believe in you! You're entitled to do anything your heart desires. Uh, Lady Flan? Forget about me, or your place as an angel. What is the most important thing for you to do right now? Just listen to your heart and do whatever it tells you, Artina. I will support you entirely, no matter what kind of decision you make. Lady Flan, thank you so much. Don't worry about it, Artina. I know what's really going on here. <laughs> That's why I respect you, Lady Flan. Go on ahead, Artina. You need to save the moon and Earth if you're going to save him, too. Yes, Lady Archangel. Nemo is a smart man. Coming up with the idea to destroy Earth by dropping the moon on it? Too bad we won't be able to reuse Earth, but at least we'll be rid of him, too. When you think about it, this wasn't a bad deal after all. You 
you guys are planning to get out of here after being toyed with by a human? Was that also part of the Supreme Conference's plan? That's correct. This is all because you demons have neglected to keep those other kinds of demons in line. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I apologize. Hey, don't apologize! Looks like the aliens have already prepared to make their escape. Unfortunately, that probably means it's already too late to stop the moon from falling. I beg you. My lord, please! As a representative of all the creatures of Earth, I plead to you aliens. Please pray to God and the angels, even if it's just for now, to stop the moon from falling. Aliens prayers. We should be able to collect as much awe energy as there are stars in the universe. My lord. Mr. Vampire. You're a demon, aren't you? Why would you go this far for the humans? Do you really want to protect Earth that much? Is it because you need the fear energy that's emitted from the humans? We've heard that fear energy is like a life source for you demons, right? Okay, if you're that desperate, we can search for new life forms that you can collect fear energy from. What? Is that even possible? Then we're safe! Hey guys, what about the people on Earth? Don't worry, you're already kind of like a demon, so you should be safe too! Huh? Oh, yeah? Okay, then. We've watched over the humans for a long time now. So we're aware that the Netherworld is being controlled by the humans, too. There's no longer any need for you to protect those humans who have tormented you for all these years. Now stop obsessing over them already and consider bringing order to a brand new planet. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? If you demons promise to become subordinate to the Pangalactic Alliance, I wouldn't mind negotiating for you at the Supreme Conference. Replacing the humans? Well, that's something I've never thought of. Sounds rather fascinating, doesn't it, Fenric? Lord Velvatores. However, I'm going to have to decline. Why? I don't understand. There isn't a single valid reason for you to decline that offer. Because I made a promise. A promise? It wasn't just a verbal promise. It was a promise that was made within our hearts. Within the netherworld there lies Hades. Within Hades there are a lot of lost prennies who need my guidance. On Earth, there is a memory. A valuable memory that taught me the importance of promises. Mr. Vampire. And on the moon, I made an allegiance. An allegiance to my friend, which will never be broken. Lord Val. Throwing that away to save my life is not something I desire. And that is my final answer. And it's a foolish one at that. You've been brainwashed by pointless human notions and have chosen extinction. Demons are lowly creatures after all. This is fine. I hope Earth, the Netherworld, and Celestia all get demolished. That's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.